Guys, welcome back to another episode of Good Game Grabs. On this channel, you will find us collecting nostalgic 80s and 90s stuff, but also stuff for reselling on eBay. So if either of those things interest you, please hit that sub button down below, like the video if you liked the video at the end, we'd really appreciate it. But let's slide on into our favorite place, the Goodwill Bins. We have a packed house today. The parking lot is so packed right now. We gotta go, we gotta get in here, let's go. Not even kidding guys i went to shoot the intro for this video there were people in line and they already got let in about five minutes early this happens sometimes but hey we're still gonna get a cart hopefully and uh find some good stuff rarely find motown stuff so i'm happy to have this the uh outside's a little rough but i think we're gonna take it still random media bin in the gm this bin has been producing some interesting hats. Uh, I know this is golf related. I'm not sure. Myrtle Beach. I, I don't know. Maybe. Uh, senior golf. Probably not. Bay Tree Plantation. It almost looks like it has a little bit of age. World Amateur. Okay. We'll those. All right. Hats are good bread and butter. Let's go. Found a little tablet keyboard. These usually aren't crazy, but I'm gonna check it anyway. I did find some remotes in this one as well. Just some good bread and butter. There's another remote. This one is, it is branded, okay. We'll, uh, we'll keep going here, we don't need that. Uh, nope. Another remote. I guess we'll just, we'll just see what they're about. Not 100% sure on those. All right, cool. What are these? Um, I'm gonna check these just because. Oh, they do require power. Interesting, I bet that's the, I, yeah, okay. That was the power for it right now. This one, maybe not, I don't know, we'll see. This is definitely a vintage Michelob Light classic visor right here. Uh, definitely rough on the inside, which makes me very hesitant on there. But pretty cool. Is this a vintage Cardinals? It looks a little older. Uh, not really. I think that's a newer brand now. Guess it's going to be one of those days of bread and butter items. Just back to back to back. Uh, this Asus router, we have sold this exact one. Or one model below it maybe. But it's like obviously got all the hookups right here. So we'll go ahead and take that. Easy, you know, 15, 20 bucks. 2012 the rock plush um i'm only taking it because it is like it's, it's good good branded by mattel uh it seems to be in pretty solid shape just needs some light cleaning i don't know i mean i, I really want to know more about plush just because it's so plentiful here easy to list easy to ship all that good stuff so like yeah i'm gonna learn new some plush guys there's a movie about a summer camp for kids losing weight, and this reminds me of it. Slide, glide. Uh, if you guys know, comment down below if you remember the movie. Uh, bocce balls, maybe? I'm not 100% sure, but Made in Italy is what attracted me. Cool logo as well. I'm gonna go ahead and look them up, why not? But I got balls. I've never seen a replacement film for a fax machine, but again, I mean, anything that's, uh, well, hopefully it's new. Yeah, perfectly in package. Somebody had three bucks on it. Heck, if we can make five on it, I'm with it. Some Sony headphones, but these things are rough on the ear cups. Uh, still gonna look up comps just because you guys know me, I love anything Sony electronic and especially light Sony electronic. So we're definitely gonna research these. I see maybe old hats. Uh, all right. Uh, I can't, I'm, no, because this is a 47 brand hat, so that means it's not that old. Also pretty rough, but that Mariner's hat is nice, it really is. I don't know, eh, 
I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead and take a shot. Of it. Why not? Cubs hat. What brand? Uh, not a brand that I've heard of. Probably gonna pass on that one. And I don't know what team that is, even though this hat looks older. Okay, this is a Easton. This is a baseball brand. This is like a backstop thing for, I guess, if you're practicing pitches or or batting practice. Um, I'm tempted to take it out and set it up and see how it looks. Because if I can get a decent price on this, if I can get them to weigh this individually, uh, we can take this down maybe to play it again and get some bucks. Got us another DBZ VHS. Man, the media was packed this morning. Um, I should have came over here first, but you know, hindsight's 2020. Um, but just absolutely like deeply packed with a bunch of mixed stuff. Like it is mixed again like it was before. They didn't have just like one uh, bin with like disc media um, and then just books and books and books. Everything's mixed today. Everything is mixed. So maybe they're going back to that style. I don't know. But if they are, I'm definitely going to be hitting up the media first a lot more. Went over to the media, got one VHS whatever we should have gone over there earlier but we're just trying to shore up on the bins in the gm that we haven't hit it's kind of hard to remember sometimes you know which bins you haven't hit when you get used to thrifting and you need practical stuff around the house like an hdmi switcher which we desperately need for our main tv in the living room because we have so many consoles but this actually is what we're going to be doing we're going to be hooking up an xbox 360 maybe not a pc or an xbox one but we're going to have a nice little switcher for for that i mean it doesn't save us a ton of money but you know probably 15 20 bucks in the long run and uh we're paying like a buck for it so you know if you find practical goodies let us know down below in the comments we'd love to hear what practical finds you have found lately i don't know if i've ever seen anything like this guys like it is six no five individual six individual controllers uh this is crazy and they can all unplug it has a power cable i I don't know. I just this is cool. I guess it's. I, I don't know. I have to. I have to look it up. It's probably worth next to nothing, but I have to look it up. Definitely have us a little bit of a research day today. Um, a Bluetooth speaker that anytime I find like a decent name like Braven. I mean, I don't know 100% if that is a decent name, but it is made in the USA and it has a model number, so it's easy to look up. These Bluetooth speakers can sometimes be good money you know uh we just sold one i think recently for like 20 or 30 bucks um and people would pass it up all the time in the bins this sky scan atomic clock i have no freaking idea but i've never heard of an atomic clock before so i'm gonna learn myself today so like video game connector cords i know the the cord now for these sunbeam style electric blanket controllers and we've been selling them We've been selling them, guys, uh, between 20 and 30 bucks usually. And uh, this is, again, a good, this one isn't a dual control one, which the dual control ones are the ones that sell. This one actually looks a little bit older too, but again, it's got a nice little style number on there. We can look up uh, and see if this one's worth a couple bucks. I'm gonna say no on this one, just off of intuition, but you never know. Can't lie to you guys, I'm in over my head on this thing. Um, it looks to be in really decent shape. I have no idea what these things go for. I'm gonna have to do a little research online to see what they're going for secondhand. Uh, I opened it up and I felt like everyone was just staring at me because I was just some goon trying to open this giant netted backstop in the bins. <laughs> uh, let's just keep going. Unfortunately, pretty much two fails right off the bat. I did grab this Radio Shack radio off of the camera, and the only reason that I grabbed it was it was just super, super clean. I would pass this up nine times out of 10, uh, but I did open the battery tray and it was just full of battery acid. Um, these things do sell. There were a couple sold for 25-ish with shipping. So, I mean, yeah, you can could, you could make some bucks off these, especially if they're in clean condition like that, but again, you know, and then of course there's basically only one sold and a ton listed of these poker, TV poker games. So that's going back as well. All right, y'all, the Rock Plush is gonna be our first W of the day. Uh, looks like there was six, 15 sold. I can't remember how many listed now that I think about it. How many were listed? 39 listed, 15 sold. So almost 
almost a 50% sell through rate. So not too bad. Um, but the comps were looking pretty decent as well uh, for a light plush. I mean, if we can get 16 or 19 bucks, and those are with shipping, guys. Like, they're charging sh $10 shipping on a plush that weighs maybe a pound. I don't know. Anyway, I'm not going to harp on that. But regardless, uh, we're going to make around probably a $20 bill on this guy. Uh, maybe we'll do like, you know, 23 or 24 bucks free shipping on something like this. Uh, that way we can get ahead of the people that are charging shipping. This clock brings up an interesting situation. So I just typed in Skyscan Atomic Clock. And then, you know, of course, I was going to refine my search if there was, you know, a decent amount of sold comps. Um, there's actually like 35 listed under Skyscan Atomic Clock and 65 sold. But all these variations of different Skyscan atomic clocks, there was one comp for our exact one with one bid at 12 bucks with $9, basically $10 in shipping. Um, this is one of those situations where the brand, you know, the overall umbrella brand is good, has a good sell-through rate, not the exact model, but I think at the weight of this, it's super light. We're just gonna go ahead and go for it just because the brand, the overall umbrella brand has a good sell-through rate. Uh, let me know, guys, if you guys do the same thing. Um, I typically do well if just the brand itself sells. Um, I don't get too picky on submodels unless it's like an older submodel that people maybe don't want. But again, like this, this will probably sell, you know, I want to say probably, I don't know, what were, the, what were the comps looking like on other stuff? So there was like, there was a bunch around 20, there was a 19 best offer, 20 with nine, 20, that was in box, that was open box. Uh, there was a 15 with nine, that was an open box. There's a 12, of course, like we just talked about, a 24 with six, a 17 with four. And see, the, all the models like vary so much. But again, guys, since the sell-through rate's good, I'm taking it. Again, guys, these Asus routers have been selling for us. We've talked about these in past episodes. Um, people pass these up all the time in the bins, but uh, there was 200 pre-owned listed with 345 sold. Uh, 40 free, 40 with 14, there's two for 61. There was one for 15 with 17 in shipping, which is crazy. Uh, 30 with 14. Uh, 19 with 21, 34 with 10, 17 with 13, 25 with 13. So yeah, guys, I mean, this is just a great bread and butter item. People pass them up. Um, we have the AC adapter on there, which is always a good sign. We'll even just throw in the Ethernet cable. Why not? Uh, all the Wi-Fi antennas are intact and working. So always a good sign. Uh, it'll probably just fire right up. So yeah, good pickup right there. I've been looking into and selling more uh, TV related, like TV company related stuff. This is from X Infinity or Xfinity rather, not X Infinity. Um, but I, we found both of these. We found two power cables. They're floating around down there. I promise. Uh, there's one right there. But anyway, these are the PXD zero one A and I, and. They're looking pretty okay. 21 sold, I think, with around like 20 listed. Um, there was 22 free. That one's like a whole package. That one's two for 40 with nine. Uh, another single 22 with 10. There's just the AC adapter for nine bucks. Not bad, not bad. Uh, let's see. Do, 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 do. There's a one for 10 with 15. Uh, 22 free trying to look for pre-owns there's a 28 with nine so yeah we're 34 with 11 we're definitely going to make at least you know obviously we have a pair with both ac adapters we could make you know dang near uh, probably 40 to 50 bucks off of these two things with their ac adapters so excited to have them um we're just going to make sure that they power up and all that uh, this one's a little rough but this one had the plastic on top or no they're both a little rough. I thought they both had the plastic on top, but either way, um, they're both in good enough condition that they should sell rather quickly. I totally did not pay close attention to the case on this uh, this tablet keyboard. It is pretty tore up right there. So since it's pretty torched, 
I think we're just gonna go ahead and throw this one back. This one is not worth saving, probably. I don't, I mean, I don't know the brand either, Zag, Z-A-G-G, -G, but yeah, back it goes. Okay, I was right. They're bocce balls, uh, made in Italy bocce balls. Uh, we only have two, and I didn't realize how many bocce balls actually come in the set. There's the other one down there. Uh, but if you find vintage bocce ball stuff, guys, I mean, the comps are not looking too bad, y'all, so. If you can pick up a set from a garage sale, yard sale, you know, estate sale sort of thing, uh, definitely be on the lookout for some vintage bocce ball stuff. They can go for some money. Picked up these two remotes in passing and realized that these are actually Xfinity remotes. And I don't know if they go to my receivers, but either way, uh, just like comps for two or like 20 with uh, free shipping. Looking for another pair. There's 20 free shipping again on this XR11 remote style uh, they're pretty clean they just need well the battery the battery trays are clean they just need a little exterior cleaning which is not a big deal so either we pair them with the receivers that we got or we just sell them as the pair for 20. all right there was 57 listed and 66 sold so over 100 percent sell through rate on these sunbeam controllers uh these are a couple duels up top but there was 1995 best offer accepted there was a single one with uh, 15 with 7 uh, 16 with 9 uh, 20 with 6, there was a 17 free, 15 free, 20 free, so I was thinking, yeah, between 15 and 20, free shipping on this guy, easy money. Guys, a nice, easy $10 haul today. I'm feeling great for 10 bucks. Uh, we got our Xfinity remotes over here. Just those alone should net us back our 10 bucks easily. Uh, our two receivers with power adapters right there. Our crazy, whatever, atomic clock. Sunbeam controller, our rock plush, our Asus router, a couple hats, again, just bread and butter. We usually sell hats between 10 and 15 bucks and a couple VHS for the booth. We usually throw those in there for about five to six bucks, especially if they're something cool and nice. Again, like the Temptations Motown, you gotta love it. I mean, this is just classic stuff, uh, especially in the music world as well. Um, but, you know, again, Dragon Ball Z, this stuff, usually sells rather quickly um yeah i'm feeling i'm feeling great for 10 bucks guys i mean this is just a really solid haul no super no super bangers today but that's okay i mean as long as we can make some bread and butter easy to list items easy to ship items easy to test items i'm happy for 10 bucks just wanted to pop in real quick while i'm editing this and say that i completely forgot that backstop completely forgot it oh man I think that would have been an easy, I don't know, probably 40 to 60 bucks I played again. I could be completely wrong, guys, but I'm pretty sure 40 to 60, and we probably could have got it for, you know, 10 or less bucks. Let's not dwell on it. Let's keep it rolling, though. Guys, I hope you didn't think that we're leaving you with only one bins trip today because we're doing shorter videos, or we're doing, we're doing less videos, uh, but longer episodes, if that makes sense. So we're going back to the bins. Uh, we currently have our post office Ikea bag ready to be dropped off in route, which is super nice. The uh, post office is on the way to the bins, uh, but we, yeah, we're gonna get those dropped off. We should get there right in time for the three o'clock rotation. All right, looks like they didn't let people in early for this round. We're going to be right on the ball. I don't know if we're going to go for media first. I think we're going to let the media be. I feel like three o'clock rotations, the afternoon rotations, they just don't usually rotate out the media. I mean, I could be wrong. Maybe I'll go over there and check it super, super quick. Let me go back over to the GM. Not very many bins here, but uh, collector's edition Star Trek, VHS. All right. There's another one. All right, maybe it's a whole set. Maybe a whole set. I have no idea what this is, but it looks interesting. Okay, cool. Breaking bad. Oh, wow, there is a whole set in here. Interesting. Okay, okay. Just grab this off the top, too. Mega Man, let's see if it's in there. It is. Let's go, dude. Let's go. GameCube games, baby. We have sold this exact album for... Oh, no, it's not in there, is it? No, it is, it is. We sold this exact album for 20 plus dollars multiple times. This will be the third time, third or fourth time we sold. I'm bailing on the Star Trek, guys. There's just so much of it. I'm pretty sure it's not valuable, so. You know, if I eat crow on it, whatever, but. 
I think I'm leaving it behind. We're gonna take this, 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 and uh, go over to the GM. I've never seen a Star Wars figure like this where it has like the adjustable base. This is kind of cool. I don't know. I mean, it is Hasbro. 2002? 2005? 2005. Uh, I don't know. Cool. We'll definitely check it out. Not holding my breath on a 6.1 megapixel camera, but you never know. Also, Kodak, kind of lower end on the uh, digital picture, or the digital, the digital camera game. So, I don't know. We'll still take it. Seems like it's in pretty decent condition, so we'll see what the battery situation looks like. Okay, we have a Pokemon plush, right? No, maybe? I don't know about that one. Uh, but yeah, Char Char. And a Minecraft plush. Heck yeah. All right, those will be just little, you know, $5 plushes in our booth, and they will sell. Woody, Woody has his hat. He has his hat, guys. <laughs> Who makes this one? Uh, it doesn't, oh no, yeah, it is Disney Pixar. Okay, cool. I'm going to become rich off of Sunbeam controllers, guys. <laughs> All right, here's another one. We've sold this exact one, I think. No, maybe not. Maybe not this exact one. We'll go ahead and look it up. It is a single style controller, but again, guys, we all need that. I was about to, uh, like four or five rows over that way and I found a glove that looked like this and now I got its mate <laughs> a couple bins down a few bins down or a few rows down happy to have that also this looks like a really clean one glove maybe we can find the other it does seem that there is some hockey stuff in here um, which hockey stuff does well this is actually for baseball um, it is baseball season, so I might, uh, actually, I don't know now. These are both Easton. They look like they're part of the same thing. Yeah, I'm gonna try to take these to, uh, plate again, honestly. Might even take, might even take this helmet. No, I'm gonna leave the helmet. Nice, we found the other glove. That's good. Good, good, good. There seems to be, this might be a whole, they have a whole, uh, yeah, sure, sure stuff is. Okay, cool. This is a good name in Bauer. Seems pretty clean, pretty good shape. Yeah, we're definitely gonna take these nice and light too. Not gonna pay much for them. Heck yeah. Oh my gosh, talk about a throwback. Who remembers, who remembers? Just sold one of these iRobot um, docking stations for a Roomba. Uh, maybe two or three weeks ago for some pretty decent money above 20 bucks if I remember correctly uh, So I'm definitely gonna go ahead and grab this one. It looks like it's in pretty decent shape It just needs a bunch of green. Only reason I'm looking at this WWE belt is because it's 2003 and it's Jack specific um, Good name in Jack's and a pretty decent year. I mean, this is coming up on being 20 years old So I'm gonna go ahead and grab it and definitely look it up. I think it's kind of neat uh, it's a little, I mean, it's light, but you know, who knows? I'm channeling the power of Zesty on this one. Uh, this just screams 1993 to me, and it's in pretty good condition. I think this will sell in the booth for five to seven bucks. I don't know. Zesty, you let me know if I did good on this one. Man, this hat is absolutely torched, but check out this graphic, Tally reward program. Was Tally maybe like a, some sort of arcade back in the day? Let me know if you guys know down in the comments. This is cool, but it is I it is rough, guys. Like, ugh. It's kind of cool. I kind of want to take it anyway. I don't know. It's yeah. It's 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 probably a goner. Let's be real. Homework time, guys. Um, the majority of this stuff we know we're gonna keep. Um, especially all like the pads and stuff like that. Uh, worst case scenario is, you know, we take it to play again and they go, hey, we don't need hockey stuff anymore. Um, the thing is, is there is roller hockey and roller hockey and ice hockey, a lot of that stuff is interchangeable. So good chance they do take this Easton gear. And I found all the matching stuff. I found the matching, I guess sh you want to call them shin guards. I found the matching elbow, uh, elbow guards. I found the, the Bauer pants. So everything's going to work out pretty good with all that stuff. We found two sets of gloves. So pretty happy about that. Um, yeah, I think there's just, you know, a little bit of homework to be done. We, we got some stuff off camera, like this line I had. Uh, we found a little Huawei router that we're going to check out. Uh, 
Huawei doesn't uh, really sell stuff in the U.S. too much. Oops, and I just broke on it. But yeah, we'll check that out. I just noticed this damage on these gloves, dude. Dang. All right, these were a pretty decent pair too, but they're going back. But again, just got these really nice CCM. These are these are nice. These are definitely nicer than the other ones. They're just a little smaller, which kind of sucks, but they're still going to fetch us some decent money. Our Jax WWE belt, not looking too bad at all. Uh, there was a, one other different version, which is this no that's the same version okay anyway uh 18 with 8 17 best offer accepted with free 22 best offer with 11 and oh yeah there was the different one right there different one uh let's see there was a couple more 25 best offer 17 best offer with seven so i, I still think that we'll we'll do plenty well around the uh 15 ish dollar range and uh of course the buyer will pay shipping actually you know what I don't know why they're charging so much shipping for this. This is this thing's going first class. So, you know, I'm throwing it up for, you know, 18 to 20 free ship or whatever. And it'll go for, as long as it doesn't go to California, you know, this thing will go for like 350 to most places. <laughs> this was, this was picker intuition right here. 110% guys. I have no idea what the mighty boosh is. I just saw a BBC video. I, I thought the graphics were cool. And it was a DVD set. So I was like, we'll take it. Okay. So first one went for 34 bids at 157. There was one for 80 with three, 64 best offer, 30 free shipping, 60 free, 50 best offer with eight, uh, 50 with three, 37 with three. 45 with three so yeah i mean just i kind of all over the place um the box is in not that good of shape at least the outer boxes the, the inner box everything on the inside is in good shape but you know i'm thinking at very worst we have a 35 to 40 dollar bill here so let's go sometimes you just you just feel it okay i didn't know that hasbro made a a game called a tactics um, but it is a minifig game basically where there's a bunch of like Star Wars figures. You guys obviously can't really see that on camera, but um, the sell through rate just wasn't good. It's also missing three little or four little uh, missiles that come out of the front, so that really hurts the value. I think we're gonna go ahead and throw it back. Hopefully, somebody finds uh, some use or enjoyment out of this. I'm not a Star Wars guy, so it's going back. Whew, it is rainy and cold. Where is spring? Uh, we spent $18.90 on that run, bringing us to a grand total just under $30 for the day. And the few media we, the few media finds that we got are excellent. They will more than pay for our day today, which makes everything else in the green. Couldn't be happier. What a great day at the Goodwill Bins. Um, we will be on vacation as you guys are watching this, Zesty and I. We'll be going down to New Orleans for a destination wedding and a little vacation time. We might go live uh, while we're there. We might. So stay tuned for that. But either way, you guys will be watching this on Friday. Hope you guys have a good weekend. Hit the sub button if you'd like to see more content just like this. Like the video if you like the video. And we'll see you guys later on the next grab.